Hello, welcome to this channel and today I'm going to be sharing a seasoning recipe that will save you time in the kitchen and will also enhance your meals. Let me show you the ingredients that I'll be using today to make the seasoning. I'll be using the bird's eye chili peppers, which has an intense flavor, garlic, green pepper, ginger, parsley, salt, coarse black pepper, and some olive oil. So these are the ingredients that I'll be using today to make this flavorsome seasoning for you. So the next step is to peel all your ingredients and make sure you'd give it a proper clean before we start blending. So once our ingredients have been peeled and cleaned, it's now time to blend. Because my blender is pretty small, I'm having to make two batches, but the ingredients that will be listed down in the description box below will have the ingredients that will be able to make a batch that will fill a 280 ml jar. So do make sure to check out the description box for the ingredients. So I'm adding the salt and I'll be adding my olive oil and this helps to preserve the seasoning as well and to just give it a really flavoursome taste as well. So I'm going to allow that to blend. The consistency that I'm blending it to is more of a finer texture and I love that texture because that's able to really get into the meats that I'm trying to season or when I'm stewing it, it's easier for it to break down. When I tell you this is going to be the best seasoning that you will ever make and I have a series of them coming your way too. But anyway, let's move on to how we store this seasoning. So I'm using a glass jar, which is very good for preserving any sort of food, especially seasonings. And this is what I'll be using to preserve my seasoning. You can keep the seasoning um, in the fridge for up to two weeks if you put it into a glass jar and you make sure that you close it nice and tight. Also, let me know in the comments below if you're some who likes fresh seasoning or you're a dry seasoning type of girl because I love fresh seasoning. I'm that one that will peel the garlic and the ginger just so I can get my fresh batch of seasoning because the flavor just hits differently. That's our seasoning done. You can now store this in your fridge, like I said, for two weeks. And every time you need to season your meat, your chicken, your fish, or you're stewing or making a curry, all you need to do is go into that fridge, grab your jar of your seasoning, and pop it into your food that you are making. I am telling you, this seasoning is about to change the whole game in your kitchen. <laughs> because prep life is big. If you are not prepping, I don't know what else you are doing with your life. Prep, prep. I'm about to show you how I'm gonna season this chicken in no less than five minutes because I need to clean chicken first. But because of this, all I need to do is take a spoonful, poop. I do this, just season it and I'm done. I put it in the fridge, leave it overnight for it to season. And with the ingredients that are in this seasoning, it is bound to pack a what? It is bound to pack a punch, you know? But I'm about to show you how we season this right now. Next clip. That you found this video helpful and if you do try this recipe please please do come back to this video and give me your thoughts on this seasoning thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos from me do remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos from me thanks for watching again bye bye